to hang around was only cool because they hung around you. Mm. Wow. That's the discovery you made this homecoming. Nigga, I'm looking at these niggas like, I used to be with y'all. <laughs> so were you uncool? No. But I may I would not let them not be cool around me just off because that's the kind of nigga I am. I won't call you on your bullshit. So it kind of got niggas in the, in the, in line. But I ain't been around these niggas for many many mm. years. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't let go of his flock. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the niggas that he introduced me to, I'm like, damn, for real, bro. Okay. <laughs> no, <that> shit's <laughs> weird, dog. It's one of my homies out there. You're too man. cool to be with. Okay. This nigga had on some hard bottom shoes. <laughs> oh, hey, that homecoming. Might be the nigga I'm talking about. On I the yard? See, nigga, you at, we at homecoming, bro. Where was he going? He I don't from know, somewhere? bro. Nigga had a blazer and a hoodie on. Uh, he wanted them trying to be developed. <laughs> you think he the nigga with a deep voice from boys? <laughs> nigga, but the shoes <laughs> was hey, bad, baby. bro. They, so was, they had a leather toe with a suede body. Nigga had on the Moat Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Zipper on the side. Moke Williams is. He out there talking about his feet and oh, his back do. hurt. Nigga, no, I, no I bet no they shit. do, motherfucker. Go <laughs> home, <laughs> nigga. Go home. Like, man. man, I might just did my last, uh, oh, my last man. homecoming as well, brother. Niggas looking at me crazy because I'm rolling up back to back. They looking at you crazy. I'm like niggas like man, how many blunts you smoke oh, today? Oh, they nigga, turned into hell, bro. What's they wrong with y'all? Bro. This is a celebration. <laughs> We I done went, whole party. I done went and, and found the strongest weed available. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This nigga came in the pack, shit say 58% uh, THC on extra. it. Extra. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> out there trying to have fun, and these niggas is out there being old, bro. They was out there policing the old weed. Ass, like, I was like, man, y'all niggas, yeah, shit. Go ahead and block them on, book, on the book, bro. Shit crazy, man. It's over with, it, man. It's over with. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm still trying to recover from that shit. G-ho. Yeah, I don't know how y'all do that shit every year. Man, Gio is crazy, bro. I think he walked about 48,000 steps. Oh, uh, bro. So that's what gets you. Yeah. And then it was hot. Heat and steps? Boy, if, if you wasn't in the shade, it was burning. Yeah, up. it was It was out here, too. Like, because there was no clouds or nothing. If that sun was on you, it felt like it was 90 degrees. <laughs> and there was points in that, in that joint where you just couldn't move. You were like stuck. It's like you could walk through a row of people like hooking out on both sides. But in that row, if you was in the middle, you get to a certain point, you just could not move. Damn, freak yeah. Style. Freak Neek style. For real, bro. Bank shot was there. We was in this one part and there was a whole lot of people with the tailgate right outside the joint. Then we went to the row where there was a whole lot of people. You get stuck. Finally, it was time to go to do the shows. We had um, shows at the Comedy Zone. <clears throat> we were trying to walk to the car and we get up to the top. And Bankshot didn't even know we had never stepped foot on the actual campus of A and T. Oh, y'all was still on the skirts, bro. He never saw that until we were about to leave. And when we look, I said, "Look over there," and he saw the plot. And it was so many more people there than it was where we were just at. And it was so many people we were just at. He said, "What is that?" <laughs> I, said, I said, "I said that's the yard. That's where like where the young niggas be at for real. Like you in college still. Oh, that's man. where you be at." And he was like, "God," <laughs> I said, "Yeah, bro." All right, so this don't make young me sound retarded. Yeah. Yeah, Does but, every HBCU have a yard? Yeah. I mean, it's what it's called. So your campus and your yard is called the yard. It's just a No, like, we call it the yard, but I'm saying it's every campus. It's just like the main part of campus. That's the yard. Yeah. Usually. I think most HBCUs probably say the yard. That's what I mean. Like yeah. It's probably, yeah, mostly HBCU slang. Okay. Yeah. We got the strip. Mm. Do you have a strip? I love how you say we. Yeah. White people white people still like slaves. Yeah, I went there before you. Bro. You feel me? <laughs> white school. I went there before you, bro. You did, bro. No, you you got your shit off. Bro. No, you didn't, I dog. You did do it, bro. I did no. do it. <laughs> <laughs> when was your semester, dog? Like 2000. That's what I'm like so is hilarious. I was there the fall of 99, right yeah. after I graduated high school. So 2000 after 99. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, I went summertime. Oh, okay. <laughs> summer of 99, 2000. Yeah. I wasn't. I didn't do summer <laughs> school. You went to summer college. <laughs> you went to uh, yeah, a summer summer college. Your, You went to a summer semester. Your semester was over the summer. Oh, no, he, no, no, no. You misunderstood. He just went to summer college. <laughs> not all. <laughs> summer. Not, no not all of it. Semester. <laughs> 
after the the summer semester, uh -huh. that's when I dropped out. Right, and that's just summer college. That's summer college. It ain't all of it. I told you I had summer college. That boy, that boy college. took summer college. Man, hey, them white schools though, they don't have a yard. They just kind of keep it slave. So they be like, we have an event at the field house. Like, bitch, I'm not coming to the field and the house. <laughs> Fuck boy. your field house, cracker. That's plantation talk. <laughs> yeah, man. Ah, shit. So hold on. Crib. Um, we, we was talking. I think this is an episode now, right? Is it an episode? We still. Mm -hmm. I feel like we still need one. I know we want ahead. I know. I know. We can do another one. I know. More than culture is the brand. It's yeah. the more than culture show. Let's do it. Kamal the secret genius. Mm -hmm. Tyler Chronicles. Like that at all. Yeah, a nigga with his mouth full. Again. More than culture is the brand. He's Just the more than culture show. Come on, the secret genius. Remo Rock. Tyler Chronicles. Hey, and man, you were saying these genes have been altered. Those aren't genes. These are genes, man. Mm -mm. You have on pants. Craig, can you see the genes? It's those. Those are the one. <laughs> oh, oh, we can see. Them. <laughs> you, you put that in there. Come on now. You said they've been altered. What happened? See, it's it's, it's, it's an extra distress. Somewhere. Somewhere. So you at home, if you can find it, if you, you can locate the old. We'll send you a free hoodie. If yeah. you can find it. Because the these trade. have been on the episode before. If you can find these in the episode and then see what's those new. so terrible, bro. These are the most classic these are the, Those are like the absolute worst jeans you own. <laughs> yeah, like ever made. Absolute, absolutely. Absolutely not. These man. are the most futuristic. Man. Nah, man. Listen, bro. Anytime you buy jeans. That's you got Sydney jeans on. <laughs> <laughs> In that jeans, jeans. <laughs> Anytime you buy your jeans When they fold it up already They not those though. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't I'm nothing proud, those I'm proud of that no, you, you can't even find another pair of them no, you right. A different they size they, they, they A limited edition mm -hmm. Yeah they should have been a, a, They should have limited them even more <laughs> You know what happened nigga That man who got fired As soon as he made them <laughs> <laughs> As soon as they came <laughs> off the line Hey, hey, man, hey, hey Who are you What is this <laughs> Hey buddy Who are you What is jeans no, two jeans in one. No, yeah. you feel fired, and that nigga ended up taking them with him. You got flannel on your knees. He's walking around them like, jeans like a pursuit of happiness. Look, so you got the jeans with the shoes, the two-tone jeans cork. with the two-tone shoes. You got the cork mm -hmm. with the cloth. I fuck with the shoes. You feel me? And then you got the the jeans that's two-tone. Okay, two types. Two types. Tones is color. You got two different fabrics. Yeah, yeah. that's definitely like. Sweatpant, damn near. It's Gino yeah. Jean, bro. That's like a car with motorcycle parts. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 300, but I, I, I call it a Bentley. <laughs> or a Maybach. Nigga driving a, a 300 with handlebars on the inside. <laughs> the, jeans, the jeans get worse every time you put them on. Every time. What are you talking about? Because yeah. they don't go with nothing. They and you can't find like, nothing to go with them. Go no. Remo. <laughs> now I'm sad. Time to vote. Now I'm no, sad, bro. The best you could do would be I don't know what color them, whatever color is that is type of hoodie yeah, or a plain t-shirt. But yeah. plain t-shirt still kind of looks weird. Plain right? t-shirt make it look like I got on half short. Yeah, bro, that should because you shouldn't have it on. That should mm -hmm. that should be your or maybe a plain red t-shirt might help that. Red t. I think I don't know. I don't right, know. I'll be right back. I'm no, nah, bro. <laughs> 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 Sorry guys, Sorry, I gotta guys. go. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's unfortunate, bro. That's unfortunate. <laughs> what if I had a verified that that shirt right you there? Can't you, wear, you can't wear this one because no, nope. it's the same color. Uh, Not no, white. I don't. I don't whole. want you to wear verified <laughs> with those jeans on. Hey, look, bro, those jeans <laughs> are are jeans. not verified, bro. <laughs> bro, if you had a verified gray hoodie, I think that might rock. Speaking of hoodies, going more than culture right now. Me, 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 me. Get that merch y'all been talking about. Y'all see it right yeah, there. It's underneath on. us. Yeah. Just scroll. Go ahead. It's underneath colors. us, right? You see yeah, a lot of in colors the, up in there. the description. Those ain't the only colors. Click that thing. You can go ahead and get other colors. Y'all been asking. Man, shout out to the Patreon. We got to just shout y'all out more, man. Mm -hmm. And if you ain't on Patreon, you missing a whole lot of shit. You did it. You ate the extra chicken and you still can do tumbles. You ordered DoorDash right after dinner <laughs> and you still beat your son at 21. You're a husky hero, sir. You figured out that jelly tastes really good on cornbread. Nobody knew that. You tried it out and you did it. Then you took a bike ride all around your neighborhood even though the tire was very low. Real husky heroes. America was built on us. 
Babe Ruth was a black man. Check out his nose. He ate 18 hot dogs and smoked two cigarettes and then drank four cups of coffee and told you bitches he was going to slap a home run and then come back and sure he had sex in the dugout. Babe Ruth, husky hero. Suge Knight was an offensive lineman. They don't respect us. He was a bodyguard for Bobby Brown, and then he started saying, hey, I can slap people in the face and take their publishing. Started Death Row Records, one of the biggest companies ever. You don't get a Snoop without a Suge. And he went to New York and said, I don't be in all of the videos. And then he started being in all the videos after that. You ever notice when they accuse him? Real Husky Heroes. Next Husky Hero, this is a young lady playing the Dance Dance Revolution game, but she is clearly built like Gru on Despicable Me. Boom, she hit them folks, but I like the fact that she was smart enough to hold on to the rail and let her feet get a little more dancing in. She hit it, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, hit them folks. To be a Husky hero and wear a spandex leotard out to an arcade. Well, I'm sure your kids are there. They're like, Mom, you gonna wear the, the tight thing again? She's like, yes, I am, and shut up. This is like the view from the inside of my air fryer. Whenever you put ground beef in the air fryer, it's doing this right here. This is what I feel like the chicken is doing in the oven when it's baking. Now, that's not Big Shell, that's Big Tamika. It's two different people. See, Big Tamika, she's living her life like it's golden. You hear me? When, when I tell you she left nine farts on this machine. <laughs> see, I know all the secrets. That's why I, I, I'm gonna celebrate these people, because I know when you get to moving all these intestines and guts around, it's a little air pockets of farts in there. That are like, it's your farts like, I guess we can come out now because his feet off the ground. When her feet was off the ground, and pip, 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 she probably was like, pip, 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 pip. I'm sure that's the soundtrack was happening. So the first Husky hero is this lady. I don't know her name. Y'all tag her. But she is in a mermaid costume underwater. But the Husky hero part about it is to being able to find a mermaid costume in a 44 waist has got to be a challenge. I don't know if this was custom made. I want to give a shout out to the Husky Heroes tribe. Every Husky hero has a tribe of skinny people that encourage us to do skinny activities. This is clearly something she saw a skinny girl do. And she was like, I can hold my breath like that. Where are you where we can see the glass? Like, did you build a glass container? So we got a whole bowl of niglet. This is like somebody dropped an egg roll. But the fact that she could, yeah, she's a neglect. Term of endearment for me, because I just made it up. And I'm more impressed that she can hold her breath to do these pics. Like, she's like giving, uh, like, uh, get it sexy. You look like, I want to throw you on a grill and cook you right. It's like a tuna. This is like a bass from the ocean that I would love to see what it tastes like. Huh, this salmon tastes like chicken for real. Real husky hero. Big Shirley in the water. Can I get a glass of Shirley, please? That would look like somebody ordered. Hey, would, I would like a glass of Shirley on the rock. Could somebody bring me a big old cup of Shirley with those salmon chunks in it? When I tell you Shirley peed in that goddamn tail, this going to take a lot to get you out of here. This is going to take a lot to take this off. This is why you're a Husky hero, because I own this exact body. I'm an owner of one of these bodies. I don't see any stairs. I can't even swim unless I see the stairs to get out of the pool. I, Me with my own strength trying to push up out of the pool it's gonna be like i get halfway to my knee and i just roll up out of there it's gonna be a team of her besties snatching her up out this goddamn uh fish tank that they made off of tiktok i'm sure we oh we just yesterday. did some more single truth yesterday Crazy. oh man oh man we i did fuck around, yeah. around and accidentally give y'all the whole episode yeah last week so you should so y'all got a little taste yeah what we'll be going on? So Y'all should just go ahead mm -hmm. and get on there now because you know what time it is. This time you're not getting that taste. To get the taste out your bitch ass mouth. <laughs> <laughs> if you're thinking about drinking my orange juice, <laughs> left a little swallow. In it. Left a swallow in the container. What movie that's from? Put it in the comments. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. So yeah, man. So we were talking earlier. We were talking earlier. And you said remind you. I said say the same thing again. That ain't for Patreon. <sighs> All right. Yeah, well, y'all got a few minutes left, we there, right. we on the regular episode. We can start off, yeah. Yeah. The back half. Of How was y'all's day? <laughs> That's the shit you get on YouTube, y'all. That's the type of shit you get. Yeah. Niggas just talking to each other about love. <laughs> about love. <laughs> y'all don't get shit else, bro. Oh, I will give y'all this, though. To the movie I'm filming today, man. Come shout out now. Terrence J, bro. Niggas, shout out Terrence the J. The nigga, real actor, bro. We was in the, we was in the scene, and the nigga cried. Okay, boy, crazy. what? Hey. Never seen it in my life. Well, this nigga, Almost fucked the take up. The first time you do it, tell him, tell him, tell him about how you cried, Remo, recently, and, bro. And, 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 I wasn't there for it, but he told me about it. 
So you was there for the for the for the, for the one where you time. tried to cry and you, tried. and you couldn't. And I, <laughs> you couldn't get it, it out. Go all the way yeah, you couldn't. You, know you saying? couldn't really get it out. Yeah. So in acting, sometimes you really get the space. <laughs> in bro. acting, you know what I'm saying? To where? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was listening. It's because what? Come on, I'm saying. sorry. Hey, bro. Don't, don't, don't let me slap five. You like <laughs> throw hey, hey, shit! I thought you were joking. You ain't gonna slap nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you don't hurt yourself. Hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hurt yourself. You just woke up. Man, let's go. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere, man. He ain't, he ain't talking about this nigga. Anybody who with me. Then <laughs> 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 my dad out. Then my dad. I was just thinking, Be bro. clear. Be clear. Be clear. <laughs> Be clear. <laughs> 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 All right. Man, a little uh, bullshit. Um, what are we talking about? We was um those jeans. <laughs> <laughs> is that not what we <laughs> is that what we were? I miss I miss tra- tra- these oh. jeans verified. <laughs> I miss I miss he verified. <laughs> nah, he's talking about uh, crying uh, in the scene. Oh yeah, crying in the scene. So um did a play earlier. Uh that's so here. first of all, the premise of that play still kills me. It's crazy. <laughs> and I did not put that together. But that's funny. Shout out to the artists who uh write real personal stories. Man. And try to get away with it. We know, we know. Um, but so I was on set, on set. We were actually doing the play, and something came over me, man. Because the, the the part of the uh, the part of the play was the dude was kind of getting rejected from his girl, and he kind of was wanting empathy, but she wouldn't give it to him. So that's the emotion behind the scene. So. And, and it comes from a dance sequence into like you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> come from a dance sequence. Stop, come on! I'm trying to, I'm trying, dog. <laughs> Y'all see it? Look, man, run it back, rewind it, bro. Y'all gonna see me trying? <laughs> it went from dance to dialogue. Because I, mean, I seen it. So <laughs> his description, I'm playing it back in my head. It's like, oh yeah, he did. Kind of got damn. Yeah, <laughs> gave a hit behind <laughs> right, right before. And that make crying even harder if you got a two step right before you do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so the two step was like, I don't want you no more. Like that's the vibe of it. Got right? you. And so, <laughs> I was like, when I came back to give my dialogue, bro, like something just came over me, bro, and I started crying, bro. And like mm-hmm. at the end, like most of the men that was uh, watching the play was like, bro, you like you really did your shit, bro. Like, yeah, you tapped in, man. Like, I mean, then the second day I, I tried to do it, but I ain't go all the way to the cry. You're right, because I didn't. The first time it scared me, it just because yeah. I didn't know how to get out to cry. Instant, because uh, you get in the cry, yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause, but to get out to cry, it's a mosquito. Bro. That shit, that shit weird. Bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because you still got to do them lines and shit. Hell so, yeah, damn, that's dope. But yeah, uh, the first time I ever seen it though was. Um, Clifton Powell, the dude who did Pinky, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. bro, this nigga was on set, and he's about to die, and he's talking to his son who, who was playing, uh, Idris Elba was playing his son, and he was like, just keep our legacy, and he's starting to cry, bro. Then this nigga phone rang, oh, in his pocket. This nigga's in the hospital bed. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he like he like my bad, dog, my bad. Man, didn't I tell you, nigga, I'm gonna be on set for another three hours? Oh, shit, God. call me back. All right, I'm ready. Oh no, and I'm talking about it went right went back. right back. Damn, cut the crime, makeup. They came in and got him back straight. Damn. Went right back to crying. That boy, hey, that's why he in the movie that's every acting, two days. Bro, that's Ugh. crazy. That nigga live on set. So yeah, what happened with him? Can you talk about it? Oh, nah, yeah, shit. It was just, just kind of the same thing. It was a scene. And the crazy thing about it is a couple of takes before he tried a different emotion. It was mm-hmm. just like anger and trying to get at somebody, yeah, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Did that very last take. And he just sat there and they had the sad emotion. And he turned and talked to him. And his shit was like, bloop, bloop. I said. I almost fucked up the tape. I was like, oh, nigga, you crying. <laughs> <laughs> I said, damn, mm-hmm. nigga, you can do that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, good job, nigga. <laughs> that shit crazy. Hey, get a nigga a tissue, dog. Man, that nigga went off. Y'all seen that? Oh, cut. Damn. Still. Oh, shit. <laughs> nigga talk to us like tip. <laughs> hey, anybody, <laughs> anybody that came with me, put it out. <laughs> 
Shout out to Hut T Tip, boy. That's <laughs> good, bro. You got, got them boys in line. Tell you something. He did, though. That shit was funny as hell. Tell he had kids. Man, hell yeah. He went straight dad mode immediately. <laughs> all right, now. You came with me. The nigga said, all right, now. Like, like we can all fly ourselves home, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, by my own spirit. I'm like, came with you. But actually, it's nicer in the jet. No, I don't already know it. I'm so sure it is. That's nice. It's like you, you just leave it every time. You don't have the anxiety of going through the TSA. <sighs> I haven't done. Oh, I've done it, but not like a jet. I've been in like a private plane. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't never been on no jet though. Y'all have? No. PJ. All right, that's next morning I culture. Yeah, hey, y'all, let's do the Creflo Dollar. Listen, y'all, go to Patreon. <laughs> yeah, we just need fifteen million. We need fifteen more million. <laughs> not even, bro. We need one hundred fifty thousand just to oh, we get wanna, on the jet. Okay, just we just rent. Yeah, it's yeah, a round trip. Okay, yeah, round trip. Wanna, we just want to charter yeah, a flight, well, yo. Fuck, what the fuck we look like with a <laughs> check? Can't put no gas. Hey, in we get to these shows. We <laughs> film episodes of the motherfucker. Like shows? Hell. <laughs> Every episode, we, Airbnb that motherfucker. Come. Now we would definitely shoot episodes in there, and I'm oh, bringing strippers. If y'all Airbnb it. Y'all can y'all can't go nowhere, but y'all can come stay in there. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's that one Airbnb. nigga that you be talking about? Uh, uh, Maserati Mo. Oh yeah, we gonna be Maserati Mo. And he ain't go to jail. Uh, nah, oh. he to be in, in the Maserati doing TikToks. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna I might, I might use that joke tonight. I forgot about that. Yeah, man. bring Maserati back, man. Maserati Mo. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, man, we back. <laughs> uh, the, the 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 Lakers. Is our time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We Lake got Bronny. We got Bronny. We, we got, got Bronny. We got a shooter. I like Dalton Connect. And they nah, he, he nice. That's a white boy? Yeah. Oh, and they good. haven't put a real pure shooter around LeBron in years, and that's what makes LeBron thrive. So I'm excited about that. AD, AD looking good. Looks bouncy and healthy, and hopefully with another shooter, he doesn't have to worry about trying to get 30 or none of that shit. Hopefully Austin Reeves steps up like he wants to since his coach is white now. He don't have to answer to a nigger. Uh, you can think about that. The white boys going to hoop. They ain't got to listen to a nigger no more. It's a whole different ball game, bro. And then LeBron not going to listen. LeBron's yeah, really finna And they the team. are some country white boys. Country white boys. Country white boys. Austin Reeves, Reeves went to Oklahoma and Dalton Connect. But he he from went to Oklahoma, but I think he from like. He from like a town of 1,500 people. Yeah, oh, yeah, a little a small player. town in Kentucky or yeah. something. Sure. Mm-hmm. And Dalton Connect is from North Dakota. Oh, yeah. So, like, they're real crackers. You know what Damn, saying? man. D'Angelo Russell probably going to have to get traded if he don't hoop. I think he probably going to get 20 to 30 games to hoop. Yeah. Have they, are, are they still trying to suppress LeBron's minutes? They ain't say that. Okay. I, I don't think they get to this time. Because LeBron, know. you seen the John, John last yeah, yeah, year, yeah. he's, he's going to just say no to start this time if he don't want to do it. Yeah. Cause I think he just feel like, bro, I gotta, I gotta play while I can play, cause it ain't gonna be no time to where like when I slow. I think he, I think he know like when he slow down, it's over with. He just he gonna be able to still play, but he ain't gonna want to play like that. Like how he gonna have to play, yeah, so bro. he'll just quit. You know what I'm saying? Like he could probably play till he's fucking fifty. No bullshit. Will he be the first fifty year old NBA player? Yes, nigga. Yes, I think Robert Parrish so was forty two. Bro, them old niggas look so old. Back yeah, in that day, bro. Them niggas was 30 bro, and looking That's old. coming back around, bro. The old face niggas? Yeah. <laughs> it is. Old face niggas are back? Yeah, it's bro. Coming back around, bro. These 30 year olds is out here looking like us, bro. It's the fentanyl, bro. Yeah, I did a college show. I almost told security to get this nigga. He was a sophomore. <laughs> hey, <laughs> get this nigga out of. Oh, bro, it's off my back. This nigga old as fuck. The old faces is coming back, mm-hmm. man. It's, it's, it's cyclical. <laughs> mm. Old faces, sharp mustaches. Okay. Yep. Every other leap, yep. leap year, every other. Oh, goddamn. Amen, face it's niggas. Sk- it's skipper generation. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, shout we, out to you, old We the last face of the young faces. faces. Right. No old face, face young nigga. NBA young boy look like an old nigga. He do. He look older than Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> he look older than his, than his uh, father in law. But Floyd got that new hairline, don't he? Floyd got new hair and a beard. He got a new beard. That's the he main got a beard? thing. He got a beard. You ain't see his beard? I know he had a, a goatee that was getting kind of Nah, he had a full out a monkey goatee. shit. He looked like Curious a George. A goatee? Go. Okay. He had yeah, a full okay. like Curious George afro. I think probably when he first got it, he just Curious let it go, all go out. George. Yeah. He looked just like Curious George, bro. <laughs> <laughs> With a beard and a little afro, dog. That's funny. Mm-hmm. You think you could beat up Floyd Mayweather? He's 146 pounds. That's one reason I'm asking. Shit and thump. <laughs> Pencil pop, maybe. That nigga knock your ass out so fast, boy. Yeah, that, now he he quick now. Don't get it fucked yeah, up. He's fast in the he got them yeah. fast ass sugar. It, it just feel, he just feel like 
he 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 boxed. He probably like one sixty now, which is still ain't that much. But one hundred and forty seven pounds is a woman. That's a small person. <laughs> that is a woman. Every woman I fuck with is probably that. Like I like kind of thick women, short, and they like that. Yeah, my wife definitely weighs more than one hundred forty seven. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, like it, I ain't probably ain't seen uh, been with a chick that weighed less than one forty in the, in years. Okay, so I just got to say this real quick. Um, um, all right. Kamala keep texting. Kamala keep texting, but let me tell you what this new one is. <laughs> I got Kamala and Trump texting. They okay. they going. They both they going, going at it. it. Same this, this new text. <laughs> this new text might win. Uh oh. Elon Musk is giving away one million dollars a day to voters in battleground states while he focuses on politics. We're driving it, nigga. A, a million dollars a day to who though? To voters. I don't understand. It's open ended, so they were like, "Go and vote for Trump." <laughs> Right. That, well, how I get my do- how I get I'll my get million my dollars? Million, yeah, I will vote for Trump for a million dollars. Yes, I, I will. Totally I don't really do. don't give a fuck. I really don't. What? I take a million. Hell yeah, bitch! I vote for that nigga twice. I come back with a new name. <laughs> <laughs> I will commit voter fraud for a million dollars. I will vote three times. <laughs> I will vote as many times as many costumes. I vote I a million times. I don't know if they <laughs> they'll count it. Just <laughs> not get that off before November seventh. That's crazy. I've never yeah. seen that shit ever. A million. Dollars. That nigga Trump doubled down on like that transgender one commercial. Person or like in total? <laughs> Gotta be everybody in line get a dollar. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Type <laughs> oh, a daily drawing. Like if you go vote, you get. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Then they're going to give out fake winners. Nice. Good move. Yeah. Good move, man. Balls in your court, Jay Z. <laughs> Beyonce. It's time to give out $2 million for every black person that votes. That would be crazy. There you go. It'll be a line of niggas. <laughs> Waiting to vote. That's all you gotta do. So the regular media talking about the uh, um, transgender shit. Nah. Oh, Jamie Foxx. <laughs> my bad. Getting poisoned by Pete Diddy. I heard a different story <clears throat> of why he was out. With why he had a stroke. Or whatever. Oh, I heard that he, he got his ass whooped. With his ass eyes, he got his ass beat up, mm. and he had to heal. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of an ass whooping. Yeah, yeah. He fucked somebody's wife. I don't know what happened. Mm. Maybe he, he didn't want to continue to party. Mm. You know, it was like, all right. Mm. He might owe the mob. I'm going do a lot. I'm do a lot. Oh, man. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out for her. Hey, bro, start reading the Bible, especially the Old Testament, because it's scary. I don't know if y'all ever read the Bible, bro. Bro, that shit gets scary. All the shit that you can't do and you're not supposed to do. Well, we going to hell. <laughs> we going to hell. Ain't no way around it. If that shit real, if everything in that thing, my is favorite actual, part of the factual, Bible is that you, all you gotta do is repent. Right. That's that New Testament shit. I'm talking about that Old Testament, bro. They will stone your it's ass. In there. <laughs> Old Testament in there, in bro. There. They break down who you're not supposed to fuck in mm. the Bible, bro. I never knew that. Bro, these white folks are stupid. They right. needed to know not to fuck they like goats, and family shit. sister and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, don't fuck your cousin. Don't fuck your cousin's sister. Mm-hmm. Don't fuck your niece's nephew. Like, like nigga, what family. are you? Your niece's nephew. <laughs> 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 he had to wait a long time for that. Boy. Shit. <laughs> Generational. <laughs> no, no, they really do be like, don't fuck your granddaughter. People used to live about 200 back then. So. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. But they didn't listen. Of course not. <laughs> no, that's why they they yeah. was they was they still, Babylonian. That's eating they apple. still fucking all them people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All them people get fucked. But yeah, stop reading the Bible is the name of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Just so y'all know. I ain't gonna lie, that's some that's some clickbait like a motherfucker. Um, that's the name of this episode. I told you I'm gonna put a title in the thing. You know what I think? <laughs> 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 ah. Oh man, so yeah, so the New Testament is more Kurt Franklin. Oh, you know, the New Turk. Ter- the, the, the New Testament is more Kirk Franklin, but uh, I ain't read Revelation yet. I heard, you know, when you get back to Revelation, you get back scary. Yeah, I heard he was, oh shit, my bad. That's all I heard he was at the, well, I know he was at the uh, Usher concert. Jesus? <laughs> Probably not. But <laughs> Kirk Franklin. <laughs> Kirk Franklin was trying to get them cherries. Yeah, do you want to sell some coochie? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe wash my hands. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of paying, paying for percent. Girl, pull down them pants. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some coochie eating? Whoop, whoop. 
That's Some hilarious. people say gospel music has gone too far. We have, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but I say I'm addicted to porn, and it's not my fault. Man. I repent. <laughs> that is such a gospel thing to be repenting for. Is, yo, listen, y'all porn. niggas is perverted. It's a perv- bro. It's a perverted perfect. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it time? I feel like it's time. Oh, Patreon, damn it. <laughs> it's Patreon. Ooh, boy, y'all Jesus. like the hat I made it. Woo! Boy, y'all we like the hat I made it. The tea. 